Hello everyone. Welcome back to Maxim Automation. Today in this video, I'm going to discuss optional arguments in C Sharp. Whenever we provide the parameter list into a function, and when we call the function, then we need to pass the argument for the provided parameters. By default, the parameters are mandatory, and we need to provide the value for each parameter while calling the function. But other than these required parameters, C Sharp provides a feature where we can avoid the argument for some parameters. And this feature is called optional argument or optional parameter. So let's see how it works. Here I have this print employee detail function, which has three parameters name, age, and employee ID. Now let's say if I add another parameter of type bool, and let's say the variable name is supervisor, which takes the bool value to identify whether the employee is supervisor or not. If the employee is supervisor, then we'll pass the value as true, else we'll pass the value as false. Now, to create an optional parameter, what we need to do is we need to provide the default value of the parameter. So, how can we define the default value for a parameter? Like this, we can assign the default value to the variable in the functional parameter itself. Let's say the default value is false. So, by default, an employee is not a supervisor. Now this parameter is an optional parameter. You can see that when I have not provided the default value of this parameter, then it was giving the error that no argument given corresponds to the required parameter supervisor. But the moment when I provide the default variable or I make this as optional parameter, then you can see now it is not giving any error because the default value is already provided for this parameter. And now it is not mandatory to pass the value to the supervisor. Either we can pass the value to the supervisor or we can avoid it as well. And here you can see how optional parameters are indicated. Brackets are used to indicate the optional parameter. And it also shows the default value of the parameter. So this way we can identify that if an argument is surrounded by brackets, then it means it is an optional argument. Now I have called this method without providing the value for the supervisor. And let's call the method again. And this time, let's say the employee name is Mike. And the age is, let me update the age here to 31. And the age for Mike is 38. And the employee ID is, let's say, 1212. After that, let's say that Mike is a supervisor. And I'm providing the value true for the supervisor field. So here I have not provided the value for the supervisor because it's now an optional parameter and the default value false will be used. And now let me update here to print into the console if an employee is a supervisor or not. Now let me run it. Here you can see that John is not a supervisor, but Mike is a supervisor. So this is how we can use the optional argument. Now we need to make sure that the optional parameters are always given at the end of the function parameter list. 
So if the supervisor is an optional parameter, then it should always be at the end of the parameter list. And I cannot give other required parameters after the optional parameter. Let's say I'm going to add a mandatory parameter as string and the address. You can see it gives the error that optional parameters must appear after all the required parameters. So either I need to change this parameter to optional or I need to remove this parameter. To create this as an optional parameter, I can provide the default value for this as let's say Bangalore. Now you can see it is not giving any error because all the optional parameters are at the end of the parameter list. Now, when we have two optional parameters, then it doesn't mean that I can leave the value for the optional parameter, which is not at the last position. Here, supervisor is an optional parameter, so I cannot leave the field by providing nothing. And if I provide the value for the address, and let's say the address is New Delhi. So here you can see it gives the error. And here the error says that the argument is missing because we cannot avoid the argument value like this. However, if you don't want to provide the information for the supervisor, but you want to provide the address, then you can achieve the same by using the named argument. If you know the name of the fourth parameter, then you can provide the value for the fourth parameter using the named argument. As we have already discussed in my last video. If you want, you can watch my previous video and the link is given in the I button above. Now you can see there is no error and the address is new tally. Now let me print the address also into the console. And now if I run it again, then you can see for the first two, the address is Bangalore and the address for the last employee is New Delhi. And the supervisor value is false. So this way we can use the optional and named parameters together. When you have multiple optional parameters, then you can avoid providing the information for any of the parameter, which is not at the last position by using the named parameters. So the optional or named parameter is not limited to the function. We can provide optional parameters to the constructor also. Let's say if I create the constructor over here, which takes the parameters as string, name, and bool, supervisor, which is an optional argument with default value as false. Now let me create the object of the class using the class constructor. So I can either pass the value for the first name only in the constructor to initialize the class object. You can see there is no error. Or I can also provide the optional parameter value as well. You can see both are working. So this is how we can use optional arguments in C sharp. I hope you like this video. Put your comments in the comment box.
also please do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel thank you